Hello everyone, my name is Wanda and I'm with the Alpha Park Library. Welcome to Mini Melodies, our story time aimed at kids ages 3 to 6. So today's story time is all about bunnies. So make sure that you take out your lesson plans and you follow along. We're going to start with You'll Sing a Song and I'll Sing a Song. Here we go. You'll sing a song and I'll sing a song and we'll sing a song together. You'll sing a song and I'll sing a song in warm or wintry weather. Okay, let's go again. You'll sing a song, and I'll sing a song, and we'll sing a song together. You'll sing a song, and I'll sing a song in warm or wintry weather. Okay, so our next song is called Peter Cottontail. Oops, accidentally shook the camera a bit. But Peter Cottontail was one of my favorite songs when I was a little girl. I remember I had a bunny that when I would press her paw, she would sing it to me. So here we go. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Try to do the things you should. Maybe if you're extra good, you'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way. <laughs> Happy Easter. Okay, let's go again. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Try to do the things you should. Maybe if you're extra good, you'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way. <laughs> it's kind of hard to sing that part, huh? A lot of Easter eggs your way. Happy Easter. I remember she would laugh after that, my little doll. She'd go like, ha, 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 ha. So, our first book, also one of my favorites when I was young, The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman and I will fish for you. See, there she is fishing for him. If you become a fisherman, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. If you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber and I will climb to where you are. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be a gardener and I will find you. There he is as a little crocus. If you are a gardener and find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and fly away with you. Oh, and fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you wherever I want you to go. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you. If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the bunny, I will become a little boy and run into a house. If you become a little boy and run into a house, said the mother bunny, I will become your mother and catch you in my arms and hug you. Shucks, said the bunny. I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said the mother bunny. So 
just thought the illustrations were so pretty in this book. Okay, so next we have a poem, and it definitely ties in with our craft this week, which is a little bunny card that you can decorate and color and draw on. When you open it, the poem is on the inside, so you can give this to somebody that you care about. But this is the poem. Runny Petting Rabbits by Shel Silverstein. Runny lent to the library, and there were hundreds of hooks, fishery hooks, biography books, and lots of bory stooks. He looked them over one by one, and guess, guess which one he took? A buyance cook? A bow tree cook? Oh no, a bombic cook. So how about we try to read it right this time, instead of the way that it's written? Bunny went to the library, and there were hundreds of books. History books, geography books, and lots of story books. He looked them over one by one and guessed which one he took. A science book, a poetry book, oh no, a comic book. So let's go ahead and read our next book about bunnies. And this one's called Little White Rabbit. White Rabbit hopped along. When he hopped through the high grass, he wondered what it would like would be like to be green. See, there he is. When he hopped by the fir trees, he wondered what it would be like to be tall. When he hopped over the rock, he wondered what it would be like not to be able to move. When he hopped under the butterflies, he wondered what it would be like to flutter through the air. When he hopped past the cat, he was too frightened to wonder anything. So he turned around and hopped and hopped as fast as he could. Soon, Little White Rabbit was home. He still wondered about many things, but he didn't wonder who loved him. What type of things do you guys wonder about? I wonder what it would be like to be a little bunny. You sure seem to get into a lot of adventures, huh? So our last song is Little Bunny Sleeping. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we go and wake them with the merry tune? They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up, little bunnies. Make sure that you hop along. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, let's go again. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we go and wake them with the merry tune? They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up, little bunnies. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, thank you so much for joining me with, for today's story time. I hope you enjoyed hearing stories about bunnies. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.